Hello, my name is Jacob Walker. I'm about to go on an aeronautical adventure, and you're gonna tag along. The best part? You don't have to move a muscle. So relax, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the ride. Welcome to the Kadena Aero Club, located in the heart of Kadena Air Base. The Aero Club was founded December 12, 1965, when the Naha Air Base Aero Club was dissolved. Our guide for today is Scott Mace, the manager of the club. He has prior Air Force, has 10 years of flight experience, and well-groomed facial hair, so I think we're in safe hands. We're starting off today with a simple instructional video filling our brains with oodles of knowledge about aircraft from types of planes, to inner workings, to how to fly one. The video showed us how the engine works, what makes the plane fly, and all the assorted buttons and dials that cover the dashboard. It reminds me a lot of how my lawnmower works, though I'm fairly certain the Cessna 172 I'll be flying isn't as effective at cutting grass. When the video finishes, we'll head out to the flight line. It's a nice walk on a beautiful Okinawan day, and by the time we reach the plane, I'm pretty pumped. But before we can fly, we have to knock out the pre-flight checklist. The checklist is one of the pilot's most important tools, and it's used by all flyers, whether civilian or military. It's a small booklet that gives the pilot the step-by-step -step process for almost any situation, so he won't have to recall everything from memory at a moment's notice if, say, the engine fails. We have to make sure everything is in proper working condition, nothing is broken or loose, and that we have enough fuel for the flight. We also have to be certain that all the switches and knobs are flipped in the correct positions for takeoff. A few other things we'll have to check. The tires, because if they aren't in working order, we'd have quite a bumpy landing. The propeller, because if it's damaged, we will crash, in a bad way. The fuel, because if there's too much water in it, we could have an engine failure. And the airspeed indicator, because if a bug has crawled into it and died, we'll have to abort. Once we finish our check and fire up the engine, we call the air traffic control tower and receive clearance. I use the pedals to steer and a knob to accelerate, completely normal, and take us down the taxiway into position on the airstrip. Scott will handle takeoff though, just to be sure. Once in the air, he has me do a couple turns and get used to the controls, then hands me full control. The moment my hands touch the oak, I can hear the theme from Top Gun playing softly in the background. It's a little difficult keeping it level and not losing or gaining altitude too fast, but I manage. Even though taking the plane by the horns requires my full attention, I'm still able to enjoy the view. Looking out at the soft clouds, calm oceans, and lush forests will fly over some familiar places like Chirami Aquarium, EA Island, and Okuma. A few hours later, Scott takes us in for a challenging but smooth landing. I help Scott pack her up and head home with a new sense of pride. By taking the Aero Club's introductory flight, I've learned the basic skills needed to fly and put them to use all on my first day. With the Aero Club, I can earn my private pilot's license before I even turn 18. <laughs> 